In this video we're going to learn how we can create this enter animation. We have done this before but now we will simply use a plugin called Simple Animations. And thank you Shannon Galloway for being the official sponsor of this video. You can check out Patreon down in the description and if you want to support me you are free to do that. And before we begin, just a word for Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with over 27,000 different classes ranging from design, business and tech. If you use my link in down in the description, you will be able to get two months of free use. So be sure to check it out now, the link is in the description and let's get started. So we're simply going to go to the Flutter Packages site and search for simple animations. And if we navigate into the simple animations up at the top, we're going to see the readme. So if we would scroll down on the readme, we can see different use cases of the package and also how it's used. You will also see some examples of uh, how the developer has used this package. So we're simply going to go to the top and go to the installing tab. So just make sure that you will be using the latest one that you find. I will be using the 1.2.0, which is the latest one for now. And as always, you will find additional information on how you are going to install it, but we'll go through that. So first off, we're going to head to the pubspec YAML and go down to the dependencies. We're simply going to add our simple animations package. And then get the packages, of course. You can also get the packages up at the top right with Visual Studio Code and you'll be able to get the package. So now if we head to the homepage start, we can see that I have a simple page here. I'm going to import the simple animations package and now we can start building the UI. So I've simply returned a scaffold and a column. So in the column, we're just going to return a array of widgets. So the first one will be the top bar. So let's import the top bar to begin with, which is just going to return a size box. So this size box is going to have a height of 150. So for the child of this size box is simply going to be a stack. And we're going to set the overflow to visible. So if we have a element that is overflowing the stack, it will still be visible. And then we're going to implement the children. So the first child will be the blue bar, which is just the blue bar at the top, which will animate down 150 pixels. And we're going to implement that as a stateless widget. And now for the build function, we're simply going to return a control animation, which comes from the package we just installed. And the control animation has some different property. The first one is duration, and we're just going to set that to 600 milliseconds. So the second property we're going to add is the twin. So I set the twin as a type of double and that just makes it so we don't have to write 0.0, .0 as the begin and 150.0 at the end. We can simply write it out as integers. And for the builder, we're going to get the context and also the animation. So now inside the builder, we can return our container, which is just going to be the container, which is displayed as a color of blue. The height will simply be the animation, which starts from zero and then spans down 150 pixels, depending on the animation. And the next widget we're going to create is a circle avatar, and I'm going to implement my own one. So first off, we're going to create a stateless widget again, which we'll call circle avatar. And in this build method, we're simply going to get the media query of the size, and then we can return the control animation, just like before. And now we can implement a, another property called delay. So we're just going to set the delay of 600 millisecond and you can write that out exactly as you want. I just did it like this. And for this delay, it's just going to say that it, this will start after 600 milliseconds. And the reason I did it like this, it's so that we can easily change this times value. So for example, later we can have times 2.5 or times three and it will change depending on that. We're going to have the elastic out curve and also set the twin double of begin zero and end of one. Now we can implement the builder, which is just going to give us the animation and we just call that the scale value. So we're going to return a position after that. And this position will just set our circle avatar to the bottom middle of the blue bar. So now we're going to implement the child of this position, which is a transform.scale. And with this, we can simply set the animation and also setting the position or alignment where this will scale from. 
So if we set the alignment to center, this will scale from the middle of the circle. And then to implement the actual circle, which is just a child and blue circle. So let's implement that method, which will simply return a widget. And this widget is very simple. We're simply going to return a square container and then you set the decoration to a circular and also a blue shade of 700. So now we'll just navigate back at the top of the page and we can see that we have our top bar. I'll just remove this homepage content really fast and I will display how it looks so far. So right now we have the top bar and the circle and if we would restart the app we can see that this is animated as we want to. So now we can start implementing the bottom half, which will be called a homepage content. And this is just going to be a stateless widget. So inside this build method, we're actually going to start by returning a padding so we can get some padding on the main content. And we're just going to set that to 12. Then we're going to have a child of column and the children will be these four things. So first off, we're going to have a large white space, then a title. And then we're going to have a small white space and then the content. And I'm just using placeholders here so you can switch this out to actual texts. So for the small white space, we're just going to return a size box of eight pixels in height. And then for the large white space, we're simply going to return a size box of 60 height. So now we're just going to start by implementing the title placeholder. And this will just be a method returning a widget. So the thing we're going to return is a controlled animation. We're going to set the duration again to 600 and then set the delay. So now you can see why I'm using the times value. So we can simply just change the 2 to 2.5 instead. We're going to set the twin to a begin of 0 and 1 as this will be a opacity widget. Then we're going to have a biller which returns the opacity value. And now we can return the actual opacity widget. We're going to set opacity to opacity value. And now we can create our actual content placeholder. So the content placeholder will pretty much be the same thing. We're going to return a controlled animation with a duration and delay. We're simply going to set the delay to 300 times 3. Then we're going to set the twin from 0 to 1 again. And we're going to do the same and return a opacity. So now if we see in the app here to the right, we can see that nothing actually changes. And that is because we simply return the opacity. So we actually return, need to return the child of these opacities. So both of these will need a placeholder box. And I will just create a method for this. So now let's implement our placeholder box method, which will return the widget. So this will actually take a height with an also an alignment. And we're going to start by actually returning an align in this method. So now inside this align, we can set the alignment to the alignment we passed into the method. Then on the child of the align, we can simply create a container with the height and width. And then we're just simply going to add some circular shape to the edges and also set the color of a gray shade of 300. And now we have very reusable code, which we can use on different pages, which will always animate it in when they are rendered. And thank you once again Shannon Galloway for being the official sponsor of this video. If you liked the video please let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. And also comment down below if you like this kind of animation videos. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.